This is Leighton on steroids. Hey guys, welcome to you with more. I am Purvi and today I'm going to be giving you my best 8 perfumes for fall and winter for men. So before we get started, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you're excited for the fall, for the winter, for this video, um, you know, to eat or something, whatever it is, give it a big thumbs up, comment something down below that you want to let me know and don't forget to subscribe because I post fragrance reviews. So I don't want to ramble too long because I know uh, everybody's attention spans right now are not, not great, including mine. So let's start with number eight. I have YSL's La Nuit de Lome. So La Nuit de Lome had to make to this list because it is one of the best designer fragrances for the winter, for the fall, for the cold weather, for men, it is such a crowd pleaser. This isn't the most unique perfume, this isn't the most, um, you know, like a mind blowing perfume, but I still think for the fall and winter, this is something that I really, really love. So because it's a very likable perfume DNA, this is a very, very good gift idea. It smells like spicy sweetness, a little bit of cardamom, a little bit of, uh, I don't know if it, it has clove, but it's a spicy, uh, sweet uh, perfume, which I love the first impressions of this perfume. Like when I sniffed it, I was like, wow, that smells really, really good, but not the most unique, but I still love it, but I still would recommend you. But I would recommend gift this to somebody who's more on the younger side. This, I think, is not that uh, mature of a DNA, in my opinion, personally, but of course, if somebody is not that into perfumes, you can give them like this one and they'll be happy with it. This is a perfume that a guy would wear who wants to like please all the ladies in town. He, he wants to be nice to everyone. He's a very, very nice guy. This guy would definitely be wearing a sweater, not like a jacket jacket. Like he's not that rugged. He's not that like... Yeah, basically he's a nice guy. This is a nice guy perfume in my opinion. Now on number seven, I have something that I personally love even as a woman. And this is a completely unisex fragrance. And I'm talking about Tom Ford's Black Orchids. Lovely, lovely perfume. I absolutely adore this fragrance. Honestly, this fragrance is clearly for somebody who is more on the creative side. So if you guys don't know, I have heard that this was Michael Jackson's signature scent. So you can just understand the whole vibe of this perfume. And that really fits my perspective very, very well. This is not for somebody who's like an average, uh, just a normal person. You literally have to be a little too creative. You have to have that... You have to have the guts to wear something of this sort. I absolutely love Black Orchid. It is so dark. It is so deep. It has a beautiful orchid note. I absolutely enjoy it. So a lot of people say that this perfume is like very polarizing. Like what do you even mean by that? Anybody who thinks this perfume is polarizing in like a negative way. I don't want to be your friend because I'm pretty sure you don't understand fragrances um, if you don't like this one. This is a masterpiece. This is, this is just, this is amazing. This is creative stuff. This is one of a kind. This is gonna, uh, you have to be able to carry it even as a man, even as a woman. This is very, very strong. This has a bold personality. This has a creative flow to it. I absolutely enjoy this. This is a very good floral perfume for men. Oh, love black orchid. Like forget about you if you're a man, I'm gonna wear it for sure. On number six, I will be recommending something that is a Creed Aventus clone. This is a very, very famous clone. This is, um, I think as a clone also, but as a fragrance as well, this is extremely famous. Very, very affordable fragrance. And I'm talking about Club de Nui Intense Man. Now, this perfume, guys, I will tell you personally, I got to know this fragrance because my man used to wear it for a year straight. To me, it instantly triggers his memory um, because that's what he used to wear. So that is how much he enjoyed it. He this, The bottle of this perfume is this big and it's like 100 ml, like I don't know, 100 or 120, I don't know. But it's like a very, very big bottle and he literally finished the entire stuff. That is how much I love this and that is how much he enjoyed it. This is 
bitter bergamot this is burnt pineapple i think this one has a burnt pineapple note yeah i think this is the one i love it i absolutely love it it's a it's very warm it's very sexy it's very spicy i find this fragrance extremely extremely attractive i find this fragrance extremely um i don't know it just makes me blush for some reason whenever i sniff it it yeah because i don't know maybe it's like the correlation there i personally love this fragrance so much that i had a little decant of it just for myself so that i could smell it and so that i could get reminded of uh, him this is extremely long lasting this smells really really good you're going to be smelling like really really attractive when you wear this you can drive her crazy you can make her remember you from this smell just like what happened with me and um yeah basically it's just you can drive her crazy wearing this on number 5 i have Parfum Simarli Herods. So guys, I don't know. Aha! Uh -huh. I have just discovered Parfum Simarli like a month back, and oh my lord, this is such, such a good tobacco perfume. I love it. If you need any tobacco fragrance in your collection that is long lasting, that's high end, that is so, so good. I cannot emphasize how much I love this fragrance. This is this is really good. Like wow. I am completely intoxicated by this tobacco over here. It has cardamom, it has clove, it's spicy, it's sweet on the bottom. It has a little bit of osmanthus which gives it a little bit of watery greenness which which is very very slight. So yeah, I mean, you can you can grab one of these if you want, but if you don't, like I'll be wearing it for sure. And just to mention, I personally see this one more on like a mature kind of guy. Like this is not like a very young perfume DNA. Um but yeah, like this is not that naive of a perfume DNA. So I personally see this more on a man man and not personally on a boy. <sighs> This is so good. This is super super good. I just have nothing to say to you and yeah, I love Parfum Zimarli Herod. I love Herod and yeah, that's all I got to say. On number 4 is a fragrance that I'm pretty sure you weren't expecting over here and I know that this is a bed. This is something that I would call polarizing like the god of polarizing. This is the fragrance that's truly polarizing. Black Orchid is not something you can call polarizing. This is it. And what I'm talking about on number 4 is Rasasi Shura. Shura. What a name. What a name. It already sounds super super royal to me. I feel like an Arabian prince would wear this perfume and that is my personal like best way to describe this to you. This is very very Arabic. This is very very incense-y. My first impression of this perfume were like I sniffed it like and this was again my boyfriend's recommendation i sniffed it and he was like he he was he basically loves this one i i was like that and then i went like what on earth is that like i was so polarized at first but like when you sniff it it's one of those fragrances that you close your eyes and you have to have to imagine like a whole aura around it you can't just be sitting anywhere and just imagining wearing this no this this needs a whole um vibe to it you have to go out there into the middle east you have to you know like imagine the whole setting you would see this perfume in when i sniffed it again and closed my eyes and actually imagined the whole arabic arabian prince middle east the whole vibe That's when I got like wow I I got like I got yeah I got basically basically I got intoxicated by this Listen to me right now this is not a fragrance for anybody who's here to just smell like anything okay This is for the men from from this whole collection this is the one if you want to be smelling like like something right This to me in terms of zodiac sign I personally see this on somebody who's a Sagittarius or this perfume itself I think would be a Sagittarius if it was a person and if I have to explain metaphorically this perfume would be a Sagittarius man half man half horse running around everywhere untamable like 
extremely extremely loud like screaming right at your face for attention this is not for the faint of heart this is not for anybody who is like you know meek in any way this is no this is absolutely hyper masculine this is hyper hyper masculine this one has oud this one has incensey notes this is an incensey oud to me it's sweet it's but it's very interesting it is very very interesting you literally going to be smelling very very unique i think extremely unique to me on number 3 i have parfum zimali latin exclusive exactly latin exclusive now latin first of all i have already quit uh attempting to describe this fragrance uh i don't know i don't know how to give this to you i have no idea how to explain what what oh my goodness you know if you have smelled latin this is latin's like dark personality that just doesn't come out in like in front of anyone this is latin on steroids this is uh yeah basically that's the best way to explain this this is so <sighs> guys this is so good and you know what forget about everything in this fragrance this fragrance has this this has a distinct animalistic like very 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 and i mean like really animalistic like this smells like something that i don't know it just triggers something inside my brain i don't know it's doing something to my head i don't know i have heard and i've read that there is some sort of like uh, well let's not call excretion because that's not the right word but there is something in here that they put which which is very very this which is very much animalistic i don't know this is oud this is sweet this is lavender this is citrus but this is this is really like this is a very honestly this is a very difficult perfume to carry this one is pure class to me this one is pure rich to me this one is pure sort of an evolved man to me this one is a man this one is not a boy this is not for boys no forget about it no you're not going to be able to carry this one forget about it this one is not for boys this one is for men men like really like wise wise men like this is for the man who has everything sorted out in his life yeah no i i don't know i don't know how to explain this to you this is uh yeah no this is not nobody is having fun over here this late and exclusive is not for people who are trying to have fun late and exclusive is not for the ones who are trying to like you know joke around with you they, they this guy doesn't flirt this guy doesn't care if even if you look at him this guy is like yeah he's he's in he's in his own um thing and yeah you'd have to be like something like crazy to even get his attention so that is on latin exclusive love it for the winter moving on to number 2 is a perfume that i have already reviewed on my channel which i will link over here but this one is something that i don't know it has to be like 2020 highlight fragrance for me for men on number 2 i am talking about aqua di parma oud i uh, i love this go check out my review of this fragrance but honestly guys this is if you're looking for an oud perfume if you're looking for an oud perfume that is not like over the top like this is an oud that is just absolutely refined smooth this fragrance is smooth af now i don't want to curse but this deserves for me to like exaggerate myself because this is that good this is smooth this is like really you can smell the high quality ingredients and if you want to know what this perfume smells like this perfume basically smells to me like the whole of dubai the whole dubai smells like this fragrance i don't know i explained it in my video as well but from the airport to the mall to the hotels 
everywhere you're just gonna smell like whips of this fragrance like crazy this is extremely long lasting this first of all forget about long lasting long lasting i mean of course it's very long lasting but my favorite part about this fragrance for the same reason how i smelled it everywhere in dubai the reason why that is is because of the sillage this this leaves just an amazing amazing trail when you walk it's it's very it's very rich smelling it is not uh, it is it is just it is just it is just amazing this is a fragrance that is so good that you just want to keep sniffing it keep you keep going there right there right back because you really don't know what exactly hit you what happened over there is something you just don't understand and how can a fragrance be so good is something that you wouldn't be able to understand so that is aqua di parma oud moving on <clears throat> on number one is something that i have already reviewed on my channel and this is parfum zimali Leighton. Now this is Leighton. This is Leighton, and let me just tell you guys, this by far has to be my favorite perfume. Like in terms of everything. Like now the reason why Leighton is on number one is because it just beats every single. It just has a tick mark in every single like way you look at it. This is a crowd pleaser. This is a crowd pleaser that is unique. This is something that is going to drive the girls crazy. This is something that makes you smell rich. This is high quality ingredients. This is beast beast mode performance. This is good sillage. This is good projection. This is amazing. This is intoxicating. This is just everything. This is sweet. This is a little fruity. This is a little floral. This is a little um spicy this is just everything it's a little bit of citrus it's a little i i love it i love it <sighs> wow <laughs> i love it i love leighton guys this has to be the sexiest perfume of this year basically even if she loses you even if she leaves you she definitely will uh, um, never regret smelling this on you. That is for sure. Uh, yeah, and that's pretty much it. I love this. I love this so much. I love this. Uh, and I've said that before in my review, but I'll say it again. This is something that I definitely want to smell on my man. Uh, and if I would only recommend one winter perfume for you, for all occasions, in the winter, in the fall, Parfum Zimarli Leighton is the one for you. Love it. Love it. I love it. I love it. So that is it guys. That is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching guys. I will see you in my next fragrance review. Bye.